YouTube. Bye. Danko fishing pliers for you. I know. I have a lot of pliers. I mean, I guess I have used a lot of different pairs of fishing pliers. I just don't know the names of them. I do. I have used a pair of Van Stalls. They're very nice. Very, um, heavy. They're really heavy. On the, in the cup holder of the boat, you're leaving them in the rod holder and they're falling on the floor. I don't feel like it's something that you really need to put a lot of money into but it is important to have a good reliable pair of fishing pliers they're reliable they're durable they're light they're perfect for everything i haven't needed another pair of pliers ever and they're super super affordable i got some new pairs of pliers i wanted to show you them kind of explain the difference because they have so many pairs of pliers on their website i just kind of want to explain to you some of the reasons why i've picked certain pairs and why they might be different or um, good for certain things. If, if you wanna keep watching it, if you're interested, I'm gonna go through each pair. I only have four different models of pliers. I also got these two knives. This one is super cool. I can't wait to unbox this for you. And you know, this is just plain fillet knife. And also I have a little kind of try on for the ladies. I tried it on on my bikini. For the guys, I put on a pair of board shorts or shorts so you can see how they fit on your shorts. Well, I think if you're looking to buy a pair of pliers, it's really helpful to see what they look like in someone's hands instead of just on the website. So the first model I'm showing you is the Riptide. This is the only pair of stainless steel pliers that I have. They have two types of metals they use from their pliers, um, aircraft aluminum and then the stainless steel. This is the biggest, heaviest one I have the line cutters, which is located right here. They're tungsten carbide line cutters and they're replaceable. Also what is replaceable is this um, belt clip you can buy on the website by themselves. 40 pound fluorocarbon, it's the heaviest um, fluorocarbon line that I have. How nicely it snips and cuts line. 30 pound diamond braid, this is the heaviest um, pound test braid that I have as well. Through braid. Brady kind of got to hold down and snip it. So nice clean cut, excellent. I can't wait to use these. The only thing is they are pretty heavy. I like to clip them on my bikini. Sometimes it depends on the bikini I'm wearing. They'll weigh the bikini down and kind of pull it down, which I don't really like. It's not very comfortable. So they are a little heavy, but they're really, really sturdy feeling. It has this little point on the end. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but I kind of like it. So the next model I'm gonna do, uh, from now on, all these models are gonna be aluminum, the aircraft aluminum. They're super lightweight, they're pretty basic. They're all aluminum. They don't have any rubber grips on, resting on them, just maybe just a tiny bit, but it doesn't affect the plier. I don't probably beat them up as much as some fishermen do, especially charter captains, but I've definitely beat these up. And you can see blood stains on this one. And, they're just kind of turning a little. These are, this is my old pair and watch how they cut braid. Real nice, but it's really clean cut. This is the prodigy that comes with the rubber. See how it's rubber here and this one doesn't have the rubber. I guess the difference between the Admiral and the prodigy are the rubber grips on the sides. The same, um, line cutters are the same. Just, it's just the gripping I think. So this comes in 17 colors. This one also comes in 17 colors. So depending on your preference, if you like rubber grips, you know. These I do wear on my bikinis. They pull them down just a little bit. If I'm wearing, you know, a smaller bikini, it's more, um, not as supportive. Definitely do not weigh down my shorts. I love them. Prodigy, Admiral. This model is called Showtime. They are a little bit smaller. Here, let me show you a difference between the Prodigy 
and the Showtime size difference. Still have the rubber grips. They, they also come, I think this one comes in 17 colors as well. Same tungsten carbide line cutters. This, I think, is also based on your preference. On how big of tackle are you using? Um, you know, obviously for smaller tackle, you're gonna go with a smaller plier. Girls, it's nice to have a smaller, lighter plier hanging off your bikini bottom. Uh, having a smaller plier is say you're on a kayak or a GNU or um, you know a smaller boat, maybe even a little skiff or something. You just don't want a bunch of big heavy equipment f flying around your boat or your kayak. Nice. Cutters snip right off. So that is Showtime in silver. Phenom, phenom, I don't know how you say it. This is the cutest little pair of pliers I've ever had. They also have the rubber grips along the sides. This is all black, so you can't really see the C. You're using small tackle, small hooks, small gear. These do not weigh my bikini down at all. This weighs 2.2 ounces. Size difference between, this is the Showtime, this is the Phenom, a lot smaller tiny even. This is like, you know, a regular size plier and this is here your little tiny plier. Time to open the knives. Um, in white, comes in two colors, white and black. Um, really nice. It has like this serrated edge on top. It curves up a little bit, it's super pointy on the end. This right here, and then it's really sharp. So I cannot wait to use this. I think this is just kind of a nice, it was only $6.99, $5.99. It was only $5.99. Is it focused? Check out that box. I think they did a really, really good job creating this packaging. Um, it's made to kind of resemble an Apple like Mac packaging. They did a really good job with this. It's really cool. And the price point is incredible. Six different styles in this color. Really cool color, sea foam, that like dark gray it looks so cool. So <laughs> let's open it. Oh, the box is so cool, I don't wanna like throw it away. Okay, so it kind of comes out of the box. Ooh. How cool and nice is that? Does it come with anything under? Ooh. I hear something. Oh, no way. It comes with this cover, like this uh, thing. Wow, that is nice. That is a nice knife. So apparently someone who knows German steel told me that any number after I think 4,000 is like good steel, good German steel. I don't really know for 100%, but that's what I was, I've been told. So this is a 4,116, pretty good. My camera turned off because it got too hot for some reason. But anyway, that's it for my review. I hope this helped you. I really hope that you got a good idea of Danko's products and, and got to see for yourself if you like the pliers or not, if it helped you in your decision to buy a pair of fishing pliers. Comment below if you have any questions or any comments or anything, or if you have a pair of Danko pliers uh, and, and how you like to use them or how you've liked them. Also, if I miss anything, if you want me to go over anything else, um, I will be including all of these products in my upcoming videos, so you'll get to see them in action, you'll get to see me using them. With that being said, give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all this stuff in action, and so you don't miss any more of my videos. I have a new video every week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.